In this video, I will show you a brief overview of the machine. I will walk around and take a look at some of the most important components related to maintenance. We'll start on this side of the machine, beginning with the stator. The, the frame of the machine houses the stator, and the main earthing points for the machine are located here, there's another one over there, and then there are two identical ones on the other side of the machine. On top of the machine, we have the cooling unit, and over here, we have the rating plate, which is showing critical information regarding nominal uh, voltage, current, power, and other relevant information. So, as I said earlier, on top of the machine, we have the cooling unit, which contains two water-to-air heat exchangers and two cooling fat motors, one on this side of the machine and one on the other side of the machine. The heat exchanger water connections are shown here. We have the outlet on the leftmost side and the inlet on the rightmost side. And this side of the machine where the cooling liquid connections are made is the propeller side of the machine. The machine comes equipped with four lifting points. These are located here and on the other side, and then similar set on the opposite side of the machine. The lifting points that you see on top of the cooling unit are only for removing the cooling unit, so those should never be used to lift the entire machine. This machine does not have a separate terminal box, so the power cables are exiting the machine from this side and the other side through Rockstack type plants. The type plates for the heat exchanger are located on top of the heat exchanger, so there is one here and then the other one on the other heat exchanger. The cooling fan motors type plates are also attached to the motors. And each heat exchanger comes equipped with one leakage detector, which is this blue device that you see here. The machine has emergency air flaps located here, another one on top of the cooling unit, and then two more on the opposite side. These emergency air flaps should only be opened in case of cooling line liquid failure. Please refer to the user manual for more information. The auxiliary circuit box is located here. All the sensors and other connections are made here. They are grouped and they are clearly marked. External connections happen through this Voxtec type plant. Please refer to the auxiliary circuit wiring diagram when making these connections. The shaft line is connected to the rotor via this type of stud bolts. This was a short overview of the main components of the machine. For more detailed information regarding maintenance and other topics, please refer to the user manual. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.